Hey everyone, so what we're going to be doing today is take a quick trip down memory lane. What I have here is a very old Samsung P580 notebook. It uses a Core i3-380M CPU and if memory serves that was one of the first if not the first Core i3 processors for notebooks. And what's happening is, is that the CPU is overheating and then the notebook shuts down as a result. So what I'll be doing is just opening it up Having a look at what's going on inside and replace the thermal paste, that's if there's any left after all this time, with some Cooler Master Master Gel. And then we'll see if that makes any difference to the processor's temperatures and perhaps solves the shutting down problem. Is it worth doing it? Probably not. Is it fun? That's for you to decide. Are we going to do it anyway? Absolutely. So let's get started. Okay, so there we have straight off the bat the CPU idling at 50 degrees Celsius, which for a notebook this old is actually not so bad. But what we're going to do is just let it idle for a few minutes, five to ten minutes, and then just see where the temperature ends up in. So back in a few. So here we are, roughly 10 minutes later, and as you can see, the CPU is idling in the mid-60s and at some point also went into the high 60s, low mid 70s, you will see there a high of 79 degrees Celsius. Keeping in mind that we have not opened any programs, we have not tried to run any software, the only programs that have loaded is anything that loads up with Windows, you can see Skype there in the taskbar. So taking that into consideration, there is definitely an overheating problem here, so Let's replace that thermal paste and see what we can do about those temperatures. So what I always like to do is just have a look online for a disassembly manual, which in the case of Samsung notebooks in general do appear to be a bit hard to come by. So I will just be disassembling as I go and see how far we get. I will be using my trusty iFixer toolkit. So let's get started. So what we see here is there is actually some dirt buildup, and right there is our problem. While the thermal paste itself is quite hard and caked, um, well, I 
actually not too badly. There has been a very thin layer of dust buildup in the heatsink and that is keeping all the warm air trapped inside the chassis. So once we give this a good clean and apply some new thermal paste, that is very likely going to solve our problem. What's actually interesting is that normally notebook cooling fans have a full enclosure on both sides but in this instance the other side of the fan is actually enclosed by the PCB itself which is quite interesting to see. And we are done. Let's see what the results are. And this, ladies and gents, is why you always test your laptop before reconnecting all the screws. So I guess I'll be shutting down and reopening everything and checking that everything is properly connected. So luckily fixing the screen problem was as easy as disconnecting and reconnecting the screen cable. Now I'm only doing that when as quickly as what you just saw on the screen. Let's have a look at what the temperatures are after we've replaced the thermal paste. So as we can see, the processor is idling in the mid 50s, which is what it was doing previously as well. So let's leave it for another five to 10 minutes and see whether it stays there or whether the temperatures slowly climb again. 
So the notebook has been idling for about 11 to 12 minutes now. And as you can see, the maximum temperature has gone down by about 14 or 15 degrees to a high of 65. And we are actually now idling in the mid to high 40s. So a definite improvement there. Cleaning the fan and replacing the thermal paste definitely had a positive effect. And this should resolve the shutting down due to overheating problem. So, if you have an old notebook somewhere that's giving you some trouble, don't be too quick to throw it away. Maybe it just needs some TLC. Thanks for watching guys and girls. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below and I'll see you again soon.